Okay, so this is an early build of our newest project, which is a mix of a somewhere between a cafe simulator and a time management game. And you can play this with multiple people. As you can see here, uh, I'll just show you the core gameplay right now. You can see we're at day one, so we're just going to start a day here. The door will open and you'll have a few seconds to like mm, process what kind of machines you're working with. As you can see, a customer walked in, so we're just going to take their order right now. You'll see that their name is displayed and their order will be created right here, which will take a bit of time. So now that their order is taken, their order will be displayed on the top screen over here. So let's make their order right now. You can see that they want a large cup. So we're going to press F to drag here. And we're going to put it in this coffee machine. And when you hold your mouse, the cup will be shoved forward. So you can put it in the machine better. You can see they want this ingredient right here. So we're going to click it. And it will prompt us to pour the drink over here. And while we're pouring, we have to stop it outside the green line over here. So let me just try doing that. Okay, I got it right. I'm going to put this over here for now. And now we have to make the milk drink. And he wants strawberries, so I'll pick that. We'll create a milk cup. And here you'll have to wait for it to be at the green line. This is the moment where maybe another customer will come or something else happens in the cafe. You never really know. No, while waiting, let me just... just... Okay, uh, I'll take that out. Uh, I overcooked it a bit. You can see how it was turning red when you're overcooking it. Okay, so now that we have both of the drinks, we use this machine over here to combine them together. So I'll put the coffee right over here and the milk drink over here. And we'll combine into this one drink with our logo and everything. So on this top section, here's where we put the toppings on the drink. So he wants a cupcake syrup and a vanilla whipped cream over here. So now we've done finished toppings. We're going to finish it. And now we can use this drink. We're going to put it in the main plate right here. This is where we serve our items to complete the order. But we're not done yet because he also, our customer also wants a snack. You can see he wants a croissant. So I'm going to go to this oven right here. And I'm going to click it. And we have to do a little timing here. We have to land it on the middle here to get it at the perfect quality. So I'm going to try that. And we got it right. Get this croissant over here. And we put it over here. It doesn't really matter how, if it's spilled or not. At least as long as it's on the plate. And when the order is finished, we can click serve over here. And he will come right at us and judge our food. So as you can see, we got a weak waiting score because we took a little too long. And we got a tip from it as well. And oh, we have another customer here as well. We're going to take another order. This time we'll try to make it faster if we can. And the thing about this is that if you walk away from the counter, it will stop. They will stop like talking about their order. Like we need to be there to key in the order that they want. So we have to come over to the corner to the counter and take their and finish their order. So now we're going to try and make this as fast as possible. We need a medium cup. This ingredient right here. You have to get it right like this. I'll just put it right here for now. Strawberry milk. And while this is uh, foaming, I'm going to make the snacks. He wants two cakes, so... Alright, got that. And I got that as well. Still have time. We'll just put this on the main plate. There you go. I'll put it right here. And he doesn't want any syrup. He just wants the cream on top. So 
12, complete that. And put it right there. Surf. See how we do. We did a little better on the waiting score. And we kind of messed up on the build. But we did pretty good. So, on day one, there's only going to be two customers. And when the day ends, you can go back in here to finish the day. So I'll walk in here and the door will close and it's now day two. And now you can start a new day with new customers and new orders. So I'll do that real quick. And yeah, that's basically the core gameplay of our project over here. Uh, you'll be creating orders and tons of customers will come and you just have to be really good at time management to get it right. And not just that, it's not only the customers that you'll have to deal with in this game. There's a ton of other events that you'll have to deal with as well. Well, right now we only have one event and that is a... Let me just do it real quick. Just this beefy void right here. And what he'll do is pretty much nothing for now. But what's happening right now is that he's walking over to he's walking over all over the cafe being disgusting and annoying and but as a result uh our waiting score from these customers will go down even faster oh, hi there and the way you deal with this is to well kill them so i have this broom over here it looks like it's a cleaning product but it's actually a weapon as you can see i can smack people with it and i'm gonna smack this oh it's hurting me and I can smack this beefy void right here. Okay, but the moment you hit him, he's gonna start chasing me. And he's gonna start chasing the nearest player. And he won't stop until he dies. So I'm gonna keep hitting him. And trying not to die here. And he's dead. And as soon as he's dead, the waiting score will go down as per normal. So yeah, that's basically uh, the early build we have for this game. We have a lot of other features that we want to add to this game in the future. And hopefully by then we can finally release it to the public for everyone to play. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this concept. We really want to keep working on this uh concept you know want to make it finished and yeah that's it see ya